In this video, we're going to look at how to automatically open and close garage doors, uh, unlock inside doors in the garage, turn on and off lights, all at the same time using very simple and free applications that are available. So sit back and watch and learn how to better automate your life. When we complete these steps at the end of the video, you should be able to open and close your garage door. Uh, I have my Q by Chamberlain. Uh, you can lock and unlock your inside deadbolt. Uh, I currently am using the WISE lock for that. You can turn on and off smart lights anywhere. Uh, I have a variety of smart, smart bulbs, uh, plugs, and even some switches. And uh, you have just uh, a bunch of apps uh, that you could use for this. They're free. Uh, or they come with uh, the products that you're going to use. I'm going to use simple commands or live key, uh, my Q app, Wise app, Alexa is important to use. I'll use the word echo throughout, and Chloe on Alexa. It's a skill that you would just simply have to enable to use, and it's very simple. I used my Q to power my garage door uh, automatic open and closing. So as a result, I downloaded my Q app to my phone, created an account. I installed the one part of the opener on my garage door. And as you could see from the inside, it's in, on the upper right part of the door and then you connect it to your main garage door opener. Uh, in my case, it's on the ceiling and you could see it here uh, next to the garage door opener. So that is your next step is to make sure you have that properly installed. Next, you should install simple commands on your mobile device. And uh, please note that on Apple or in the App Store, it's known as Live Key. So once you get that installed, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you briefly in the following uh, video how to set it up. But again, it'll be a, a brief setup. Welcome to the Simple Commands app. Uh, so here I'm showing you, I have two routines, the menus up here. And I had already created two routines uh, in the menu. Uh, one is called Open Carport and one is called closed carport. Uh, I'll focus on this one for now. And uh, so let me just show you, if you look at the items that you can include, in my case, I have included the MyQ uh, garage door opener. And all of these are WISE products uh, that I have because I added uh, WISE. So I'll show you, I'm going to tap down here. And I'll show you how easy it is to add items to it. As you can see, I've added WISE door lock and uh, the rest of the WISE products. And you know I've added it because it says manage instead of add. I have my Q garage door opener. And again, it says manage. And I did at one point have the August uh, lock. I've uh, since replaced it with WISE. So once you've gone ahead and added, you can uh, set up a routine. And I'll actually just show you what the routine looks like so you know how to set it up. So this is the routine that I set up. And I'll edit the routine actions for you. And right now, if I say close carport. Now the reason I do that, instead of saying close garage, is that uh, I already have a door, an inside door called garage. Uh, so I didn't want to use that same name. So. Here we go. Uh, what I when I execute that command, and I can execute it a variety of ways, which I'll show you. When I execute that command, the garage door will close, and I have a wise sofa light, and that will turn off. I have set up separately my wise lock in inside the garage, the garage uh, deadbolt. To, to also 
close or lock uh, in 10 minutes. Uh, so when that closes 10 minutes later, and that's just built into the WISE app, uh, but you can go ahead and, uh, and try to incorporate it here. Again, you could use, uh, if you'd like, you could use uh, either Live Key if you have an, uh, an Apple product or simple commands here on the Android product. Next is a very quick addition to make. Uh, you have to go to your Amazon Echo app and you have to go to your skills. You'll see that on the upcoming video. I'll just show you how to do it. But you need to enable a skill called Chloe, K-L-O-E-E, -E, for simple command. Next up, what we need to do is we need to add a uh, skill. And the skill is called Chloe, K-L-O-E-E. -E for simple commands. So it goes together with simple commands, provides our skill connection to uh, Amazon Echo. So if you go to your uh, skills here, I already have it, but uh, you can go to your skills and if you search, you would just go to, and you'll see it pops up right there for simple commands and there it is and it's as simple as that again I've already enabled the skill uh, so I, I'm all set but this is all you have to do is you just have to go enable the skill uh, called Chloe for simple commands next up let's take a look at uh, scenes so uh, this is again I, on my uh, Amazon Echo app and you can see on the top here the line of devices but if you scrolled all the way over one of the items is called scenes and so when you uh, look for new devices in the case of what we put on simple commands they'll actually come across as scenes so let's see if they're here so we'll go down and there's the first one it's in alphabetical order so closed carport is there and hopefully going down a little further to O we are going to find open carport. So we have two scenes called closed carport, open carport, and those scenes will execute the routines that we put into simple commands. Now it's time for us to set up routines on Amazon's Echo. And so the first thing we're going to do is uh, here in the uh, Echo app, um, I, I went to the uh, home screen and then after the home screen I went to the menu here for more you could do that right away if you'd like to also and you'll see here the word routines now I've set up uh, for a total of four routines uh, for the open and close and uh, let me explain why so I'm gonna go to uh, uh, let me go to close the carport and here it is so what I've done is I've set it up, I call it closed carport, which is the same as the scene we set up on simple commands. Uh, when I say, Alexa, closed carport. Okay. What, what actions did I add? One is I use that scene that we set up to close the garage door. The scene, I also had put in uh, the light, the wise light, to uh, turn off and also to lock the garage door. So those three things will happen. Garage goes down, sofa light goes off, the garage lock deadbolt inside the garage will lock. That's it. That's how you set up a command or a uh, routine. And I could add items to this routine if I wanted to. I could just tap Add Action, and then you would just go to uh, Smart Home. And when you go to Smart Home, you could see here you have everything you may want to do, whether it be a scene or locks or thermostats, whatever it happens to be. Uh, you could just go to it, and you could just tap on it. And uh, you could see I have all my... Uh, locks here and I could tell it exactly what to do with these locks 
So there you go. That is the uh, steps on setting up a voice routine with Amazon Echo. So very quickly, how do you add a routine? Is you just go over here to add. And after you add, you just decide the routine name. And after you do that, when this happens, and if you tap on when this happens, I used voice and the second one I'll show you is location. So you could just, uh, uh, these are the commands that you would give your uh, Amazon Echo, uh, whether it be in your home or using your uh, mobile app. Okay, I'm gonna give you uh, one more set uh, of routines and this would be for location. Uh, by the way, the uh, Amazon Echo really does keep a nice uh, view of your histories of opening, closing, how I used uh, the particular activity. So uh, let's go back up to my routines here. I have a close carport. Remember I have two of them. So why do I have two? This one I showed you is the voice uh, closed carport. This one is called closed carports. Again, uh, the issue is you can't have two uh, commands with the same uh, word. So I added the letter S as you see here. And uh, this pin tells you that I use location. So when I set this up over here, I, when this happens and you go to location, now I can't open that because I, I still have my home address on it. Uh, but anyway, you go to that and uh, you add your location and you tell it when you want it to. So you say that you want it to open when you arrive and you want it to close when you leave, of course. So those are the, uh, the two different <coughs> commands. And if I remember right, it's just under 400 feet uh, that both commands uh, execute and take place. Now that you've completed these steps, what are you able to do? One is you could use your Amazon Echo voice routine that you created and it will open and close your garage door and other smart devices in your home such as your light uh, in my case a door lock etc uh, second is using the amazon echo location routine that we set up it opens and closes the same items if that's what we want to do without doing anything. It just uh, uses your phone location. The location routines only require that you have your phone with you. There's no other interactions uh, required. Uh, I even when I take uh, exercise, when I take a long walk, and when I return home, it opens up my garage door, turns on a light, uh, to allow people inside to know that I'm uh, there and uh, unlocks the door. And so what have you just done? You've built a geofence around your home and th that geofence is used for when you enter and exit that particular area, which is just under 400 feet. Let's summarize what we've done in this video and hopefully it's helped you quite a bit. Uh, we have set up uh, products that will initiate via either voice or by location. So the geofence part of it would be the location. Hopefully that's something new uh, for you and something that I think you'll uh, enjoy. Because we included our garage door, uh, I used simple commands. There may be other products out there, but Simple Commands, of course, meets our goal of being uh, no price. Uh, and so my queue does work with Simple Commands. So that's why uh, we used it. In the past, I've tried to use uh, Google Assistant uh, or the Google Home app, and I've not been able to get it work. So that's why all of the focus in this one is on the uh, Amazon Echo product. In order to have this work properly between simple commands and the Amazon uh, Echo, uh, I had to use a product called Chloe, K-L-O-E-E, -E, which we saw earlier. Uh, so simple commands to Chloe, 
to your Amazon uh, Echo routine uh, is required. So scenes is what allowed this to work. So we have used scenes. I just did it as a test. And sure enough, once I uh, put a scene on from uh, Simple Commands, uh, the Amazon Echo app picked it up and said you have a new scene. Other than the price of the hardware that, in my case, I already had all of it, uh, what we did today, what the video showed, there was no cost with any of the apps that we used today. So you've taken a number of steps today to set up uh, these routines, these uh, products, these apps, and you put it all together to allow uh, both voice and location to work. The good news is now you could do this for any products that you have around the house. You now know how to set up uh, these routines uh, through the products we've shown. I hope this has been beneficial to you, uh, that you've enjoyed it, and that somehow it gives you a more productive uh, set of products that you could use in the future. Well, let's see how this works. Uh, I'll do the MyQ piece for you. So here we go. I'm going to use the A word for Amazon product. So please keep that in mind uh, in case you have one close by to you. So here we go. Let's open the garage door. We're going to also at the same time turn on a light in the family room. And the wise lock when I do the second command will lock the inside deadbolt in the garage which is down in this area. So here we go. Alexa, open carport. Okay. And you could see how quick that was. So it is opening uh, the garage doors, you could see. It also turned the light on on our garage uh, unit. So, uh, so far so good. I should get some notifications and there they are. I get a notification that my queue has opened. I also have a, a, a note notification uh, that there's motion in the garage, and of course there was. So let's go ahead and close it now. And again, I'm going to tell it to close. The garage door will close. The uh, light in the family room will go off, and the wise lock will lock. Alexa, close carport. Okay. Now, for safety reasons, uh, what happens is... I get a, uh, I think it's an eight second delay uh, to warn anybody that's in the garage that the door is about to close. And so you saw the light blinking there. The garage door is closing. The uh, light in the family room has turned off and the wise lock is now locked. When you carry your mobile device with you when you're leaving or entering your home area that you set up on the Amazon app, it will automatically execute these routines. You don't need to do anything else.